Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this really easy summer poncho. And you can use any size hook and you can make it as long or short as you'd like. I'm going to work with worsted weight yarn and a 9mm crochet hook. In my finished poncho I used an 11.5mm hook, so you can use any size hook you like. And you should start your foundation chain to these measurements. I post new videos on Tuesday and Friday in the morning. You may not receive an email, but if you check your subscription box, it should be there if you have subscribed. And you can find new posts by clicking on the three bars on the top left of your YouTube channel. And here is how many yards of yarn you will need. Start with your foundation chain. After you have your foundation chain the correct length, you're going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Then you're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now that chain two is, takes the place of that first double crochet, so I'm going to go right into the next stitch, and I'm going to double crochet all the way around my foundation chain. So in each stitch, make a double crochet. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert it through the stitch, pick up the yarn, and pull it through that stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, Pick up the yarn, pull it through two. So go ahead and make one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. If you find the videos too fast, here's how you slow them down. Okay, I worked all the way around making one double crochet in each of my foundation chain stitches. And at the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And that is the next section. So now I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to make one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, I'm going to find my chain two and slip stitch to join. And that's the neckline of the poncho. And now I'm going to work the body section. And on my poncho it was nine rows of these large V stitches. So to do that I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And that takes the place of a double crochet and two chain stitches. And I'm going to double crochet in that same stitch. And I'm going to skip the next stitch, and in the next stitch, I'm going to make another V-stitch. So double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next stitch, make a V-stitch in the next stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so repeat that all the way around. Okay, and I've worked all the way around, and at the end of the row, find that first chain and slip stitch to join in the second stitch of that chain. Now every row is going to be exactly the same. Turn your work. Now slip stitch up to the first chain two space. Start five, one, two, three, four, five. Double crochet in that same chain two space. And in each chain two space around, make a V-stitch, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. So you'll be making a V-stitch in the V-stitch from the previous row. And you're going to do that for as many rows as you like. For my poncho, there's my two rows for the neck. And then I had nine rows of these large V-stitches. And again, I was using my 11.5 crochet hook. So after you've worked all the rows that you want for the length of your poncho, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this bottom band. Okay, so the first thing I did was I did a double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Then I did two rows of single crochet in a contrasting color. 
and then I did two rows of pebble stitch and then two rows of single crochet. So you'll have ended with a slip stitch into that first V stitch. So you're just going to chain two and this is a chain two space so we'll make two double crochet in that chain two space and then a double crochet in the other side of the V stitch and then another double crochet in that next V stitch and two double crochet in the chain two space and a double crochet in that side of the V stitch. Okay, so I just worked this row of double crochet. So now I'm going to change to a contrasting color. And because I'm working in gray, I'm going to change to pink and I'm going to work two rows of single crochet. And I'm going to pull my pink yarn through, lock it in with one stitch, and then just the, with the working yarn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. To single crochet, you simply insert the hook in the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, then pick up the yarn and pull it those, through those two loops. So go ahead and single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked single crochets in each stitch around the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Now for the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way around, and at the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in that first chain. I'm going to pull my light colored yarn through that stitch, lock it in, taking one stitch with both the yarn end and the working yarn. And to work the pebble stitch, I'm going to work a single crochet in that same stitch that I joined my yarn in. I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next, single crochet, double crochet. So work all the way around alternating single crochet and double crochet. Okay, I worked all the way around working my pebble stitch. I started with a single crochet and I ended with a single crochet, but I need to end with a double crochet, so I'm just going to squeeze that double crochet into that same stitch and now I can slip stitch to join in the single crochet like that. Far up with a row of double crochet, two of single crochet, one row of pebble stitch. I'm going to attach my gray yarn into a double crochet and then I'm going to chain one and in that same stitch I'm going to make a single crochet because the pebble stitch is the alternate. It's working a single crochet in the double crochet of the previous row and a double crochet in the single crochet of the previous row. So to make my double crochet my yarn around the hook and then I made my double crochet. So now I'm going to make a single crochet and a double crochet and I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Single crochet and double crochet and that's what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and work all the way around then I'll come back and show you how to do the bottom row. Okay, so after those two rows of pebble stitch, I attached my yarn, my cream yarn again, lock it in, single crochet in that same stitch, and then single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Like that, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, after working that one row of single crochet, I went back to my original color of the body. You could do this border in any color that you like, actually. You can attach in any stitch, and again, just take one stitch to lock that in place, and then go ahead and single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and then your border will be finished, and you'll have a lovely summer poncho that will be great in the warm weather. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.